Budget Secretary Benjamin Jokna said, Filipinos should not lose sleep because of the sharp fall of the Philippine peso against the U.S. dollar. Since President Rodrigo Duterte assumed office in June 30, the peso has fallen almost to an 8-year low, weakening 50 to 0.21 last November 24. It closed at 49.73 to the greenback last Tuesday. The Philippine peso reached an all-time low of 56.34 in October of 2004 and a record high of 37.84 in the May of 1999. I don't think we should lose sleep because of the uh, peso depreciation. He said the bigger benefit would be gained by the OFW families. Jokno pointed out if the exchange rate is 50 to 1, they will have more money and they will spend that. And given the multiplier effect, that would be good for the economy. Okay? Also, it makes our exports more attractive. More attractive. So our exports become cheaper uh, to, to compare to the other countries. And then the uh, countries will import from us. That will also create jobs. Okay? So I, I won't be... I won't lose sleep with a peso depreciation. Okay. I would say 50 is, is comfortable, but we've seen 55 and we did, the country did not uh, collapse, right? Uh, we've seen 55 before. So uh, I, I'm not scared of, of the uh, direction of the peso. Jokno also said that the weakening of the peso is not the government's fault. The U.S. dollar has strengthened, and that is because of the likelihood that the Fed will increase the interest rate. He also said that he does not think that the oil prices will rise again to $100 per barrel. I don't think it will go back to that level, okay? And in fact, baka nga mas maganda tumas na konti yung oil dahil sa traffic natin. Baka mabawasan na konti yung traffic. Jokna also said the country's current dollar reserves cover our import requirements for one year. We have, the hef we have a very hefty reserve, gross international reserves of about uh, 65 billion dollars. That is equivalent to about one year's imports. The rule of thumb is if you can, can cover about three months of your import requirement, you're okay. Three months, this is one year. So that's almost four times the, what we need. So again, that's the factor why they, they think that we will be resilient. Every time we have a crisis, whether here or abroad, we run out of dollars to pay for our foreign debt. But that's no longer the case, crisis or no crisis, we have a lot of dollars. So th this is something we should not worry about. There are many things we should focus on. And as I said, uh, given the overall weakness of the world economy, we should try to strengthen ourselves here domestically. And that's why we should focus on uh, infrastructure where we lack and then focus on our kids, the children, so they can compete when, when times get better.